Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be going over five players that I'm excited to watch during the Washington Commanders preseason game against the Carolina Panthers. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content on the road to 9,000 subscribers. Also check out Real Time Fantasy Sports, link in the description. So the Washington Commanders play their first preseason game Saturday at 1 p.m. against the Carolina Panthers. Should be a good one. Ron Rivera already talked about you know who's gonna play and how many snaps he said the first team's gonna play. About 15 to 20 snaps Curtis Samuel will play and Baker Mayfield ex is expected to play for the Carolina Panthers. So should be kind of exciting once versus, you know, Baker Mayfield. But today we're going to be talking about five players I'm excited to watch. We're going to go over those players and I'll show you guys some clips from them this off season. So the first guy, and I think this is this guy is on everyone's list, and that is quarterback Sam Howell, who the Washington Commanders drafted with the first pick in the fifth round this year. Guy before the season started was expected to go like number one or top three, top five. Ended up going in the fifth round, but even right before the draft, a lot of people thought he was going to go in the second round. Some people even thought he was going to go in the first round, um, but he fell to the fifth, and the Commanders took him, and I thought that was a great pick. And he's been pretty solid in camp so far. Like, not amazing, but, you know, Kyle was saying on his podcast that he's, you know, he's been progressing um, pretty much every day. And from when I was there, you know, he didn't make any major mistakes. I was there three days and threw a single interception and definitely had some nice passes for sure. Definitely has zip on his, uh, you know, on his passes. So, you know, he is going to play this preseason game for sure. And, you know, Ron said that, you know, Wentz and, you know, the first team offense is going to play 15 to 20 snaps. So really depends on how long that takes. If that, you know, takes only one quarter, then how, or, you know, Heineke will probably play the second quarter and a little bit of the third. And then how will play a quarter and a half. But if Wentz's, you know, time takes a little bit longer in the second and then Heineke might play a little bit more into the third, and Howell might only get one quarter or a little bit over a quarter. Um, but in that quarter, I'm you know I'm going to be excited to see what he can do. It would be nice if Deami Brown was able to get some you know snaps with Sam Howell, but I doubt it this game. But maybe in the future, if either in the you know in the next two games, if they decide to not play Wentz and Howell's the backup, then he might get some reps with Deami. Or if they don't decide to play Heineke one of these games, then they could do the same thing. Because I feel like Heineke, like, it's kind of weird and, like, I don't know. I don't want to say disrespectful if you don't play a QB at all when you only have three and he's going to make the roster. But it's just a little bit weird. But we don't need to see Heineke play. We know what Heineke is. A very, very good backup. You know, maybe a low you know, very low tier starter. But on this team, he's a backup. He's a good backup. Knows the system. Um, you know, has good chemistry with the you know teammates and can play well um, over some stretches. But you just he knows the offense. You don't really need him to play. Someone like Howell could really benefit from this experience right here. And we need to see if he is going to be a capable backup or better in this league so that we can decide on Taylor Heineke's future um, this off season. But excited to see Howell for sure. Um, I posted a video on my channel, a short um, from, you know, Hal throwing a deep ball to Mark and Michelle, but I'll play this right here for you guys. Make sure the banner isn't blocking. Um, it was a nice, really nice deep ball um, from Hal to Michelle. I don't know why the quality's bad there, but it's a nice, like, right in the bucket. Dropped it right in the bucket. Michelle's also been good. Like, I think, don't think he's going to make the roster, but I think he could, you know, if he clears waivers, which I think he will, I think he is a prime practice squad candidate so that is just someone uh, to keep you know to watch this preseason as well mark and michelle he will probably be working a lot with sam Howell, so could be the main target for sure so that's kind of the guy everyone's excited to watch myself included so next guy on this list another obvious name but jahan dotson i don't even need to see him play but he's going to play on, you know, I'm pretty sure. And I will, you know, be excited to see what he can do. Um, but we, I feel very confident that Jahan Dotson is going to at least be solid this year. But definitely excited to see what he can do. So here's a play right here. Um, Wentz throws it to um, Dotson, who makes a really nice catch, kind of contested catch right there. And yeah, I think, you know, he's been having a really, really good camp so far. And I'm excited to see what he can do in actual games. Because again... All this hype is great, 
but he hasn't played a single snap in, you know, any NFL games, and, you know, not even preseason. So we kind of have to wait a little bit before we, you know, get super, super excited about him, but definitely excited to watch what he can do and, you know, take that next step because we saw him ball out in OTAs, then training camp. Now it's preseason. And then if he can get through that, then you got the regular season. So um, Jahan Dotson, I expect him to have a really, really, you know, solid, I guess, couple series maybe two to three series is probably what they're going to do that's probably what'll you know take 15 to 20 snaps um kyle stackpole who used to work uh for the commanders says ask the commanders coach about Jahan dotson um his face lit up before i could even finish the question he's so dis- uh, dependable he never misses and he catches everything and he's just a threat vertically and on the shake and bake he's a lot to handle for the defense so I mean, we've seen all those things from Jahan Dotson this, um, you know, training camp. And I mean, I want to see that connection with Wentz continue to grow. And if he, if the receiving core stays healthy, you know, most notably Curtis Samuel, I think this core is going to be scary for opposing defenses. Next guy on this list and only defensive player on this list. And, you know, the reason for that is I just feel like a lot of times it's more exciting, at least for me, and especially in the preseason, to watch offensive players, you know, because you can kind of quantify how well they did a little bit more. Like with a cornerback, it's really hard to be excited to watch him because, you know, if he's playing well, first off, it's going to be hard to tell just from the TV copy, but also you might not even hear his name once because, you know, he just did his job and covered the guy. Same thing with some other positions as well. So that's kind of why I only put one defensive player. But there was another guy I was considering putting on. That was Benjamin St. Juice, but I didn't put him on just for that reason. But the other guy is Percy Butler. Percy Butler, Washington, drafted him in the fourth round. Guy I really liked when they drafted him once, you know, read more about him. Very, very high ceiling, maybe a little bit of a lower floor. Um, but, you know, he's got the traits to be a really solid free safety in this league and, you know, also be a good special teams player. And I'm excited to see him get, you know, actually play a bunch of snaps and possibly play at the free safety position because in camp he's been playing a lot of, you know, the Buffalo Nickel and with the, you know, second and third team he's been playing some free safety. But I want to see what he can do in an actual game and see some of that, you know, 4 4 speed. Um, you know, that he has, or might be, you know, might even be better than that. I'm not sure. I forgot. Um, but yeah, excited to see what he can do. And because I think eventually he could be the starting free safety. Maybe not this year, but I think down the line next year, hopefully he's the free safety. I mean, ideally, your secondary kind of looks like William Jackson the third, Kendall Fuller, Benjamin St. Juice as your, you know, three starting corners. Then you have Cameron Curl and you have. Percy Butler as your starting safeties, and then, you know, Derek Forrest as your Buffalo nickel. That would be ideal for sure. So, you know, hopefully uh, Percy Butler can play pretty solid in his first game, and we'll go from there. Um, Let's see. Next one is Brian Robinson. Excited to see Brian Robinson because, again, that is one where it's very easy to quantify, you know, how well he played for the most part. Um, You know, you don't have to watch much film to see, you know, if a running back played well or not. Sometimes you do see if there was a hole on that play, but for the most part, you're able to tell from a, you know, TV copy and Brian Robinson, you know, he's probably going to get a ton of carries. You know, we'll see who gets, I'm I'm assuming Gibson gets the carries with the ones because, you know, he's the RB1, but Robinson was definitely getting some reps with the ones this off or, you know, the, the last practice I went to, which was Wednesday, I think, Um, or maybe Tuesday, it was Tuesday, he was getting some reps with the ones, more reps than Gibson was, but all the other days it was mostly Gibson, so, um, but, you know, even if he's getting reps with the twos, excited to see what he can do, besides just being a goal line slash short yardage back, I want to see what he can do on first and 10, on second and eight, like, that's kind of what I'm excited to see for him, see that power back um, guy, and then here's a clip right here from Rudy, shout out Rudy, Uh, I think this is from the FedEx field practice, um, last week, but you know, a nice run, able to run through the tackles and kind of bulldoze his way um, through people. So I'm excited to see what he can do in the games. Um, yeah, I think you know, I think he should be pretty solid for the Washington Commanders. And I think Gibson will be RB one, but I like the pick with Robinson. You know, I think it was a little bit too early, but 
he's a great insurance policy for Gibson, who has been a little bit injury prone. So that is just something that, you know, a reason why I like the Brian Robinson pick. And I think he will contribute and he better contribute. He better not just be a guy that gets three, four, five carries a game because that's not a guy you draft in the third, fourth round. And that's what they did with him. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next guy is Deami Brown. And, you know, he is someone who I'm excited to, you know, to see his progress from year one to year two. You know, we heard some solid things from, you know, in the off season, some good, some not so good. Like there was a few times, you know, the first kind of week and a half heard some really good things about him in camp. Then the next week, not so great. Um, in the last couple of days, not, you know, it's not so bad. So kind of been up and down with Deami Brown, but you know, this is his first game action. Last preseason, he did okay. I think he dropped a touchdown um, in the, you know, end zone from Carton, not Carson Wentz, Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I believe. I can't, I remember, you know, how he did in the preseason. I don't think it was great, but I remember him making one catch, uh, one big catch. So, uh, but, you know, seeing what he can do this year, he might get, he'll probably get some reps with the ones. It'll mostly be, you know, uh, Curtis Samuel, Jahan, and Terry, but you know that one of those guys might come out for a couple plays, and Diami will get some reps, and then of course he'll get some, you know, the majority of the reps with the second team. Um, but you know, seeing how he's progressing, seeing you know if he can do more than just for the most part a go route, you know, because you know th- that's kind of his weakness. He's kind of a one-trick pony, but you know if he can be elite at that one trick. He's going to be a really solid player, but um, yeah, seeing how he's developing this off season. Here's a quick clip that I took at Commander's training camp, just him running a route and making the catch, nothing major. But yeah, that is it for the five players I'm excited to see during you know the Washington Commanders' first preseason game. Um, any other guys? I mean, Jamin Davis, kind of. I'm kind of nervous and excited. That's the guy I want to see playing the full game. I know they're not going to play on the full game. I would play on the full game or, you know, at least three quarters or a half. He needs to get all the reps he can get, Um, you know, raw prospect coming out and still pretty raw. Another guy excited slash nervous is Carson Wentz for sure. And kind of Curtis Samuel as well. Another guy excited slash nervous. Only reason I would be nervous is he re-injures his, you know, groin or whatever. But I'm excited to see what he can add to this offense. So those are kind of the guys. Let me know what you guys think, what players you are excited to watch. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.